Radical. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to part two of Radical Rapid Fire Comment Responses of the Week from September 21st to the 27th. First off, we have Comedy Room fanboys are basically fans that say whatever they are a fan of can do no wrong, while a fan enjoys it while providing appropriate criticism. A good example of this, I would say, would be Star Wars. All right? There are certain people that will always be fanboys of Star Wars, regardless of what they do, regardless of how terrible some of the movies recently have been, there will be some people that will go and watch the movies, they'll buy the stuff, they'll buy the action figures, they just don't care. You can't get through to these people. Same thing with YouTubers. You can try to explain to people in every single way that they shouldn't waste their money on giving money to YouTubers for playing video games. All right, I recently saw a Dr. Disrespect stream and he's getting two $300 donations. These people, you cannot help these people. Once they're past that point of no return, okay, once you are getting in extra hours at work, you know, because you got to get home and donate to Dr. Disrespect, you are fucking gone. You are fucking gone. I have no power to help those individuals. That's when I'm quickly coming to learn, Comedy Room. Just an example right there. Fart too long. <laughs> fart too long. Hey, question. What is the longest fart you've ever had fart too long? Okay. I mean, a couple seconds for me. I wonder, what is the longest fart? Leave it in the comment section down below. What is the longest fart anybody's ever had? Or is there like a Guinness record? You said, talking about my candy upload, it can D, addictive. All right, you know, that would work if maybe I was talking about cans. All right, good try, good try. I get what you were trying to go with, but maybe come back far too long and you tell us, what is the longest fart you ever had? Remember the great sports. All the more reason for me to keep my 360 and PS3 with those titles on them. I told you in a previous comment, once I own like six copies of Skyrim, all different platforms. So as long as I have my Elder Scrolls, I am good. Glad you shared this as I was unaware of this until you shared it in your video. I forgot the video I got this from. I forgot what I shared. Uh, you have a lot of Skyrim. You do love that Skyrim. It's a great game. Honestly, I don't know if you need six of them, but hey, you know, uh, you do you, man. I wish, I wish I could remember what I shared. I share a lot. Hmm. Yeah. But uh, the 360, by the way, my favorite console of all time. I think I mentioned that before. I love the 360. Next up, Captain Wesker. My channel is strictly for fun. I would never want to be the next Metal Jesus. The best path for success is just to have fun. If it's meant to happen, it may happen. If you constantly chase numbers, you'll burn out very quick. Sadly, I don't have a nice set of knockers. Now I remember, I think, remember the great sports. Was it on that one upload where I'm talking to, it's a comic cuts. Uh, fuck it. I upload so much I forgot it, you know. But I remember the upload. I just don't remember exactly what it was about. Uh, oh yeah, the path for success is what we we're talking about there. And if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Not always. Not always. I mean, people like to say that if it's meant to happen, it will happen. Not really. There are certain things that happen that should not happen in the world. And there are certain people that deserve success. And it never happens to those people. Life is not fair. The world is not fair. The idea that, you know, everything works itself out. I mean, that's nice on a greeting card, but that's not the case in real life. Uh, chasing numbers. Yeah, a lot of people actually will chase numbers on YouTube channels. As silly as that fucking sounds. As silly as that fucking sounds, they will chase numbers on an on a video uploading website. You know, chasing, chasing. They'll chase numbers because they want to make it their career. I just think that's fucking stupid, but hey, you know. <clears throat> who am I criticize? Oh, wait, I'm a I'm a critical satirist. I can criticize people. I just think in most cases it's fucking stupid. Uh, someone brought up shoot 'em ups who recently reached a thousand uploads. Uh, fuck, recently reached a thousand subscribers, and then they want to make it their career. Who hold the phone there, chief? Hold the fucking phone, you know. No one makes a career on YouTube at a thousand subscribers uh, unless they are going to try to lean on their patrons and then make up the difference. So I just think that person is being um, uh, 
a little dishonest, or they are just completely, they don't understand how YouTube works. They don't understand the structure. All right, but I, the last thing you say, you don't have a nice set of knockers. I tell you what, if I had a nice set of knockers, I would never get anything done. Wait a second. I can actually do it. You can actually get implants. You can become a, a transformer. I could do it. I could do it. I could. I could get. I could get the parts of women that I, I love the most. I'm a boob guy, so I could. I could actually literally get boobs. You know, screw that. I'm not even. You know, I'm not doing anything else in life. I'm just gonna. You know, get the boobs, stay at home, and you know. Yep. Nah, I'm just kidding. But I wonder if that's a thought that passes uh, through a lot of guys. They're like, you know what? I'm tired of dealing with all this shit from women, you know? They have the boobs I want, so I'm gonna get the boobs now. I have all the power. I got the boobs. Then I go into a GameStop, knock it over displays with my big boobs. Had them ten rows. Death by hentai. No, no, no. Death by snoo snoo. That's a Futurama reference, isn't it? Isn't that Futurama? All right, if it's not Futurama, leave it in the comment section down below. Because I loved Snoo Snoo. I loved that, wherever that came from. Pretty sure it was Futurama. But yeah, as far as dying, you know, by something like that, that's probably the best way to go. That's how I want to go. I just want to have a heart attack. You know, I want to have a heart attack, be like 100 years old, and just, you know, that's, that's how I want to go. You know, I want it to be, I want that to be written on my tombstone too. You know, Rick died fucking, you know. Hades is an ami. Whoa, Rick, did you upgrade your capture card or something? Maybe it's the pixels, but the video looks sharp as heck. Radical Series S confirmed. Uh, thank you, I've been doing some tweaks. Been doing some video tweaks and trying to up the quality of the video a little bit. Um, somebody stopped by the other day and left a, left a mean comment saying that my video quality wasn't that nice. Left a mean comment and I said, well, of course, you know, on, on comment of the, uh, well, fuck it, uh, on show off Saturday. You know, I'm using like a, a very highly compressed cell phone or whatever. So, of course, it's not good. But they said on one of my uh, Shadow Mordor uploads and everything. And I said, no, no, it clearly is the best Shadow Mordor gameplay currently on YouTube. And I'm proud of that. It, it is. And I challenge this person to go find some current higher level Shadow Mordor gameplay. And they could not. They never came back. So, yeah. I mean, I can I can tout that, right? If that's a big thing to tout, hey, Radical Rick channel, the best Shadow Mortar gameplay, hands down. Uh, but yeah, I'm trying to do little things to uh, you know get the video quality up a little bit on the gameplay, and I think I tried some new things out on the the Deer God is the upload you're talking about. Yeah, sometimes it's little things like that, you know. Um, just in general, I think for the rest of the year, I'm going to be trying out like a couple different things on the channel. We'll see what happens. Uh, Miss Silent Rob, it's not on his desktop. Talking about the folder that clearly was actually shown at that time. Maybe it's no longer on his desktop, but it said Rick stuff and it was on his desktop, right? Okay. Uh, and then they left another comment. He never took money from him talking about... Uh, uh, Hidden Gem Gamers, Sonic Shuffle. He never took money from him when he was 14. And yes, Sonic Shuffled, Shuffled does have mental health problems. And yes, he did call the cops on Rob. I was there, heard the voicemail, and was there for the call back to the cops. Sonic Shuffler is a hardcore stalker. Sometimes there's different levels to things. Sometimes uh, you find out more as things go along. Uh, this is something that kind of like shocked me. And you hear my video, I was like, Dude, what the fuck are you calling the cops on somebody for? Uh, and he even admitted, I think, in that upload, he had a seven-minute upload, you know, maybe maybe I tried to contact him too much. I have no doubt that he tried to contact him quite a lot. I have no doubt, maybe hopefully not anymore, but this person seems to be fascinated with YouTubers. Fascinated with YouTubers. And I will tell this person, hey, you know what? Most YouTubers ain't shit. Most YouTubers ain't shit, and they just want your money. Now, what happens here, though, is sometimes when you have these... We talked about fanboys, right? Fanboys of Star Wars. When you have fanboys of certain YouTubers, when you open up the ability for them to give you money and donations, sometimes they want something in return. It's your soul! No, not your soul. They want your time. 
They want a part of you. They want to be your friend. Okay. Especially, and, and I made a quip on the last, uh, last upload. There has to be something mentally wrong with someone on some level that donates lots of money to YouTubers and donate and gives a lot of games to YouTubers. There has to be something there. There has to be something missing. All right. I could go into that. Oh, believe me, I can make a 20 minute upload going into that, uh, as I often do, trying to explain away a lot of things that, you know, go on on YouTube. But I will just say that um, it's not a good decision. I'll just leave it there. It's not a good decision to start allowing donations from people that think they're your friend, but then they realize quickly, oh wait, this motherfucker just wants my money. Next up, we got Alt Old. More BS from the Lonely Rat community. As soon as you got the 5k subs, the jealousy from these people began. Anything to make themselves feel better when all they do is live on YouTube. For the life of me, I don't understand why so many people get jealous of YouTubers. I, I don't get it. Even like my title is kind of like a play and it's kind of like a joke, you know? YouTuber Radical Rick. At the end of the day, it's not really that big of a deal. There are so many people that hate my fucking guts just because I have a certain subscriber number. Like, this is this actually a thing? People hate YouTubers because I guess the jealousy just gets them so much, right? Like, of all the things to be jealous of, of all the people to be jealous of, you're jealous of me over YouTube? When, well, ironically, the fact of the matter is, if people knew how happy I was in real life, and if they knew what I you know, personally had in real life, you know, if they knew how happy I was when I woke up every single day and how thankful I was to have the life that I currently do, they would be even more fucking jealous. So if you're going to be jealous with me, if you're going to be jealous with me, don't, be, don't let it be about YouTube. It should be about many, many other things. You know, I, I makes people's heads explode. Usually when people are jealous, it's because they they lack the ability to work on themselves in their own life. Okay? The, but there's a lot of, lot of angry, jealous, hateful people. There is. And to those people, I would say, stop being hateful, stop being jealous, and maybe work on your own lives and your own happiness. All right? I could be a fucking life coach, couldn't I? Terry W. Privet, comrade. How is your raccoon? We had that plan for the raccoon. You know what I'm saying? Number 17. Number 17. Tell your raccoon this. The programming should be complete, comrade. Silence Airy. Rick, once again, your commentators come up with gold. Credit to CPE. I never thought about it, but it's literally the perfect phrase, especially with today's norms. Friendship is a service. Yeah, I think I went over that. I think I went over that. Friendship being a service. Uh... When I think about friendship as a service, it's a weird concept, you know, because someone will be your friend if you pay them money. Friendship as a service, or just in general, like, service without an actual service. It's silly to me. People ask me, hey, what's your thing about people donating to uh, live streaming gamers? I'm like, because it's not a fucking service. You know, well, it's entertainment. <laughs> That's barely fucking entertainment. How the fuck can you classify grown men playing video games online as entertainment? I'm sorry. Even the high-level ones. It's, you know, something has to be wrong with you if you tune in to Ninja. And, you know, he's playing Fortnite. And you see him get a kill. And you're like, oh, whoa, wow, Ninja, such a kill. Let me get my bank card here. Something fucking fly. Something has to be wrong with you in the goddamn head. Something got to be wrong with you, you know? Why, why, why am I the bad guy here for pointing that out, you know? Why am I the bad guy for trying to get through to people and help them save money? I mean, it's like the same difference when people spend hundreds of dollars in microtransactions in a video game. You know, I'm, I just want to get through to people. I'm like, why are you doing that? That's fucking stupid. You're wasting your money. But why is it, Silent Sayuri, the people that point out, you know, greedy microtransactions in video games? That's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Not, you know, no problem with that. But if I point out that people are taking in hundreds of dollars of donations on a live stream, like Dr. Disrespect, 
You know? If I make videos around that, for instance, oh, Rick, something wrong with you. Fuck anybody that thinks that, okay? Goddamn hypocrites, you know? Go after all the people that, that have videos talking about microtransactions in video games, right? Go after them, right? If that's the fucking case, if that's how you feel. It's, God, it's just so fucking stupid. And there's never a day, Silent Sari, where I will wake up and go, it's not fucking stupid, right? So, is it okay for me to speak out on stupidity? Uh, Gray Fox. I wonder if they will buy Rockstar. I don't think Microsoft... I mean, I'm not going to say that they don't have the money. I mean, they have a lot of money. But just imagine, if Microsoft bought Rockstar. They bought friggin' Rockstar. Uh, I think about it like, that would be a huge purchase, but... <clears throat> how many games does Rockstar come out with? Not that many. Then you might say, well, GTA 5 was huge. Red Dead Redemption 2, huge. But I think they would make more on their return if they bought, you know, a, a different company that released more games. But I might be wrong. But I don't know. And they bought Bethesda. Nobody thought that would happen. So what if they're literally just going to start buying up all these publishers? You know, GTA 6. GTA 6. I, I, hey, it's announced right here. Here's some late breaking news. GTA 6 is coming out at some point next generation. GTA 6, Game Pass, day one. Yeah. Imagine that shit. Imagine that. Next up, King Woody Redux. <clears throat> I've been playing Xbox for so long that I have all kinds of games for various Xbox systems. That at this point, if I did end up buying a PlayStation instead of an Xbox, I would basically be putting all those games up in the closet till I could afford the Xbox too. So no PS5 for me. I got a lot of games I'm playing now on Game Pass. I have a lot of games with gold that I downloaded. So that's it. I mean, like, for me, why would I get a PS5? You know, I would have to start all over again, and they fucking know that. They got you. They hook you, you know? So it's kind of brilliant what they do is they set up the system to where, you know, if you have gold, then you have all these games that you get, and most of them are kind of crap nowadays. But if you're on Game Pass, that's how they got you. You got hundreds of these games that, you know, you've started playing and you're halfway through and you're like, I don't want to buy all that shit again. Why would I get a PlayStation 5? So it's kind of brilliant. They know it. It's kind of brilliant. Heavy Metal Gamer Show. It's no different than the whole Mojang Minecraft deal. It will still be on everything else, which is more money in Microsoft's pocket. <clears throat> you know, so many folk, too many people focus on console sales, but it's about money made. If Microsoft buys a buys an entity like a Fallout, and then it sells more on the PlayStation Five, people, you know, fanboys would be like, "Hey." It sold more in the PlayStation 5. Like, Microsoft's, it doesn't fucking matter. Good. Good. You know? So Microsoft, Microsoft's is going to win. Microsoft is going to win when it comes to making money, as they usually do when it comes to making money. In general, Microsoft makes more money than Sony. So when it comes to making money, they know how to make money, regardless of any console wars. Red Stratus 97. Microsoft still is lagging in the one area, and that's JRPGs. This was a nice acquisition for sure. Microsoft will benefit greatly, but until MS starts putting together exclusive JRPGs, which right now they seem to have no interest in doing, I'm going to still prefer a PlayStation or a Switch over an Xbox. I like JRPGs, and Microsoft, uh, Xbox is a great platform if you like shooters. Hey, it's the premier platform for, well... I mean, there's a lot of third-party shooters, but I'm just saying if you like shooters, if you like Halo and Gears, now it's going to be different, hopefully, and they'll extend that to be role-playing games, you know, and Bethesda. Uh, but like I said, I don't know. It would be interesting to see them. It would be interesting to see them take Bethesda and make exclusive Microsoft games. That's what I want to see. Because if they just purchase Bethesda, and there's no new Microsoft games made by Bethesda, then that would be kind of lame. Then that means they just kind of want to put Bethesda's games on Game Pass, which is still a great value. But ideally, what I want to see, I don't know about a lot of you, but I want to see 
different custom type games Bethesda makes similar to their own games, but for Microsoft. And last and probably least, Sean Griffin. Why do you even care? If people want to donate money, let them donate. I never donate money to anyone because I need to cover my expenses. I'm not on anyone's side on this. I'm just asking, why do you even care at all? I'm not picking sides because it leads to arguing and arguing leads to cussing and name calling and cussing and name calling leads to hate and hate leads to murder. If you ha hate someone, uh, you already committed murder in your heart for that person. Okay, I'll wrap my head around that stupidity in a, in a second here. But you said, why do I even care? Well, Sean, why does anybody care about anything? I get asked that a lot. Why do you even care? Okay, human beings care about things. Human beings have opinions about things. Why, why didn't nobody stop by my Avengers upload and said, hey, why do you care about talking about the Avengers? Why do you care? What the fuck's the problem? You know, I have an opinion about the Avengers game, so I speak on it. I have an opinion about Silent Rob or other YouTubers. I speak on them. So what's the fucking difference? What, to me, what's the fucking difference, okay? People criticize games and movies all the time. Why can't I criticize YouTubers? And then why can't YouTubers also criticize me? I mean, what's the fucking deal? I never ask, you know, why do you care if I see someone give their opinion on a game or a movie because it's their fucking goddamn right, you know? So, so you're under the line of thinking like no one should criticize, like no one should care, no one should speak out on something they see that's stupid. Whether it's a game or something a YouTuber's doing, they shouldn't speak out, I guess, because they're afraid of conflict, I suppose. And you said that you need to cover your expenses. If the only reason you don't donate to YouTubers is that you need to cover your expenses, then I need YouTubers to hear this, right? This is a person that is not filthy rich. Most donators, Wolfpack1 had a great comment. Uh, most donators are not filthy rich. And they have to make ends meet. And they are making decisions on whether they want to pursue things in their life cover their expenses, or give that money to YouTubers. All right, so that's proof positive right there. To any of you taking in donations currently, pay attention to this. And I would say to those YouTubers taking in money, do you even care? Do any of you fucking even care that people right now are making decisions on buying things for themselves or giving you money, you greedy fucks? Do you even care? And committing murder in your heart you know, I think about all the murder Siskel and Ebert have committed in their hearts for criticizing movies. Get the fuck off that bullshit. Leads to murder in your heart. When I have an outreach, when I t try to outreach to somebody and explain to them what they're doing is wrong, it doesn't mean that I want to murder their hearts. The fuck is this shit?